Spectre is the fourth Daniel Craig James Bond movie and I'm very excited to give you guys my review for this movie. Be sure to check out all my previous James Bond movie reviews and my James Bond movie playlist as well be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get into this review. In this movie, a cryptic message from James Bond's past sends him on a trail to uncover the existence of a sinister organization named Spectre. With a new threat dawning, Bond learns the terrible truth about the author of all his pain in his most recent missions. So Spectre is a film that I find fans are really divided on. I know some people really like it, but there are a lot of people who really don't like this or even hate it. For me, I'm gonna be honest, I'm somebody who's always quite liked this movie. Ever since I first saw it in theaters, I had a lot of fun with it, and to this day, I still have a lot of fun with this movie. It's not as good as Skyfall, it is a bit of a step down, and I have issues with it, and I'll get into those in a bit. But I'm gonna start my positives, and I have quite a few positives with this movie for me. The start, I thought the action in this movie was great. There's a lot more action in this than there was in Skyfall. And I found all the action scenes in this were really entertaining for me. They felt like classic Bond action scenes, like the car chase in Rome, I believe it was, with uh, Dave Bautista's henchman character. I thought that was really exciting and really funny at times, too. There's a great action sequence sort of midway through involving a plane. I thought that action scene was really exciting to watch every time I watch it. I love it. And of course, there's the opening sequence action scene, which is probably one of the best opening sequences in this franchise, in my opinion. Maybe my favorite, but definitely one of my favorites. I loved it. I love the one take at the start. I love the foot chase through the city and the fight in the helicopter. I thought it was all fantastic. I loved it. Even the final act, well, maybe not quite as strong as the first two, I enjoyed most of the action. I loved the use of the old MI6 building as a setting, the one that had blown up in the previous movie. I really liked that as the setting. I enjoyed what they were sort of doing in there. The final confrontation in the Spectre base where Bond blows it up, I really enjoyed that as well. So for me, the action in this was all fantastic and it made this movie very entertaining. Daniel Craig again was great. He's my favorite Bond. I thought he was great in this. I thought all the performances were good. And honestly, I really liked the mystery that was set up with Spectre. Like, we, we all know what Spectre is, but in this movie, Bond doesn't know what it is. It's never been mentioned before. It doesn't sort of exist, for lack of better words, until this movie. And I like the way they have it set up where Bond has to go searching for this organization and what is it i loved that actually i thought it was very well done i really enjoyed it there's some dark uh, dark mystery to it like there's parts of this movie that set it up as being very sinister which i really liked so that was great there's a great scene with mr white who is in the first two daniel craig bond films i thought that was great and the first scene where Bond sort of infiltrates Spectre, at least a meeting that they're having, I thought was fantastic where they introduce Christopher Waltz's villain, which we come to know as Blofeld. I thought that was great. I loved how he was in silhouette for almost the whole time. And then you hear him speak and then he looks up at Bond. I thought that was a fantastic scene, a great way of introducing the villain as well. That was all great. And Christopher Waltz, I really enjoyed his performance and I kind of wish there was more of him in this movie. I enjoyed everything he was in just because of his performance. He was great. I loved his sort of back and forth with Bond and him and Daniel Craig I thought worked very well together. But there was part, one part of his villain that I'm not completely sold on and I know a lot of people will know what it is because I have not met anybody who likes this idea and it's him and Bond being adopted brothers. Now I get this is the 24th official movie. They want to try something different. I get that. But this was an odd decision to make, I thought. And I felt like they could have done something where they knew each other or knew of each other in some way without them having any sort of relation like that. Like maybe a previous mission James Bond was on. Blofeld maybe was there. Maybe not the head guy, but he knew of him. Thought he was dead or something. Something like that. Maybe could have been better. This was definitely an odd decision. Like there's still some good scenes after that reveal where 
you know, like Blo uh, Blofeld said, oh, brothers, they know what buttons to push, stuff like that. Like, that was a fun line, the way he delivered it. But it was like an odd decision. I just, uh, I don't know. It kind of made Bond feel more important than I think he should if that makes sense like what I mean by that is like we get a lot of movies where it's like oh you got this chosen one the one person who can do this you get a lot of that it wasn't quite that but it started to feel like that just because there's that relationship that's probably my biggest negative with this movie so it does hinder a bit because it's like oh it's such an odd decision to make again I appreciate they want to do something different switch things up but that was an odd direction to go in other than that i think my biggest issues would be at times the pacing gets a little slow mainly when the movie cuts back to a subplot going on in london with m and money punny and this character that they call c played by andrew scott that stuff like i get why it's there it's important for specter and you sort of think it could be an interesting thing to talk about in a spy movie like this but whenever it cut back it's like i'm just not as interested in this i want to get back to bond because i enjoyed the action scenes with bond i enjoy him trying to uncover what specter is that was all good and the bond woman played by lee sado i believe that's how you pronounce her name i enjoy her for the most part i thought her performance was good i just I think I could buy a romance forming between those two, but not as quickly as it did in this movie, if that makes sense. I think that was a little rushed. I buy into a lot more in No Time to Die than I do in this one, but still, I enjoyed their dynamic together. They had a nice scene on the train where she sort of asks him if what would he do if he did something else, something like that. I enjoyed that scene, and then there was a fantastic fist fight after that with Bond and the henchmen. That scene was great. I always enjoy watching that fight scene. So yeah, overall for me, my few issues are the twist that just felt very odd. At times the pl uh, pacing gets a little slow. And the, I think, relationship with the Bond woman wasn't fleshed out enough or given enough time to really sell that they would really feel that connection for bond to retire at the end of this movie but the rest of this movie i really enjoy it love all the action scenes in this and i really like this idea of specter always being around but the people like bond never really knowing that it was there and he's trying to uncover it and i really enjoyed that there's some great scenes throughout this i do think it's quite underrated there are some complaints that i do understand though like the blowfeld reveal but i do love christopher waltz as blowfeld his performance i thought was great i do think it could have benefited from more of him but yeah those are my overall thoughts on specter i honestly quite enjoy it for me i'm gonna give specter an 80 percent so for me, a very fun Bond film. Not quite as good as Skyfall. It is a bit of a step down, but not as bad as Quantum of Solace for me. I think it's a big step up from Quantum of Solace. So that's my review of Spectre. I have just one more movie to review in my James Bond movie countdown, and that is No Time to Die. So expect that review next week. And guys, thank you for watching this. If you liked it, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and be sure to stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. And until my next video, take care, everybody.